notice we have a few changes here at the DAC that weren't in place before. So we're going to go over a few things that are going to be a little different this time when you return to the DAC. But remember, we just want to protect you and all of your families and all of us, okay? So first thing you'll notice is some new signs. There are signs posted throughout the DAC that you won't have seen before. Of course, we want to practice and remind you to practice social distancing. And face masks are required when you're here for your classes. So come on in and we'll go over everything else that's new. You'll also notice in the different areas, there's a capacity limit. Here in the hallway, the capacity is two. So only two people, there's only two chairs available. So if these two chairs are full, you're just gonna have to move on to another area of the DAC where the, that you can adhere to the social distancing guidelines there. You'll notice on the floor, we have six feet social distancing signs. That is to show you that from here to the front desk is six feet. Okay, and this is where the line would start. You'll see a sign here that says this is where the line starts. So you don't want to get any closer to Felicia unless she says that she needs something from you. Okay, so Felicia, of course, is still at the front desk wearing her mask and staying safe. You will see there is hand sanitizer right here at the front desk for your use. Come in. You want to use hand sanitizer. Make sure your hands are good and clean. And when you first come in, Felicia will do a series of things. First, she's going to take your temperature. She has a couple different thermometers <laughs> to choose from. Um, this one's very simple. She turns it on. And you can see it's on. And then she, she'll shoot the forehead. And it tells you the temperature. Hers is 98.7. Spot on. Just so you know, if it is over 100, when you enter into the DAC, you will be asked to go home. We just want to protect you and everybody that's here. After your temperature is taken and your name is down, Felicia will ask you a series of questions. Have you been in close contact with a confirmed case of COVID-19? No. Are you experiencing a cough, shortness of breath, or a sore throat? No. Have you had a fever in the last 48 hours? No. Have you had new loss of taste or smell? No. Have you had vomiting or diarrhea in the last 24 hours? No. Then you're good to go. Then you would go on to your location for the classroom. Again, even in the hallway, we want to follow proper uh, six, dis six feet distance, um, social distancing guidelines. So we don't want to crowd up in the hallway, just give everybody enough space. If you can reach out and you think you could reach somebody's fingertips, you're probably too close, okay? So just give yourself a little extra space. Again, you will see the signs, the face mask required in all areas, and you'll also see the capacity sign. So no more than six people is allowed in the kitchen at one time. Down in the banquet hall, if you're here for a class, we ask that you sit where there is an X located, okay? There's X's on each of the tables. This allows us to make sure that we are following our capacity guidelines. So there is 20 X's on the tables. We are allowed to have up to 20 people here for classes, not including our instructors. So we ask that when you do come into the DAC, that you sit in a location with an X at it. Um, if you are here with a worker or a family member that is here to help you out with a class, we ask that they sit on the end of the table so as to adhere to the six feet distance, um, but they can sit with you um, to assist you with the classes. Um, of course, we ask, of course, that you have a mask on while you're in the center. There's a variety of different ones and we just wanted to show you the different options. Of course, there's more of like the surgical medical ones. These, this one goes behind the ears. Um, Excuse me, mine's falling down. I have an infinity scarf that's just wrapped around a couple times. 
uh, to cover my face and nose. There's this type that's kind of like a, a turtleneck type that just kind of goes around. You can also, I think these were bought on Amazon, but I have seen these also in the fishing section because they use them to kind of protect their face from the sun if they're out on the water. So you can find those there. Um, there's this kind that I know that we sent home with you. They're just like the surgical ones, only these tie and don't have the straps that go around. Um, there's these more construction type of dust masks that just have one band that goes behind your head and you can wear those. There's the cloth ones. Then I know some of you have gotten these. You can use and then you can throw them in your washing machine and wash them and reuse them. Those are really nice. And I've made two of them out of socks. I don't know if you've seen, there's a lot of different videos on YouTube that show you how to make one out of a sock. This one, I took the sock, cut off the toes, cut off the heel, cut two small slits. Don't go all the way across, of course. And then you have a mask like that. It just goes right over the ears like that. Okay, this one is similar. You can see the shop sock shape there. I just cut off the toes, open, um, cut along the side, the top side, not the heel side, but the top side. Took it, folded it over on the heel, and then cut again, not all the way down, just to leave that hanging for your straps. They go behind the ears. And then use this one this way or this way. Let's try it this way. And then that one goes again behind the ears and covers around the mouth and the nose and even around the chin, okay? So there's a few different options. There's a variety. Um, you can see Cheyenne right now, she's got a really cool superhero one, okay? So those I'm sure is available online. Probably. <laughs> um, there's a lot of creative ways that you can make masks and I'm sure you've seen those. Masks are required when you're at the DAC. Um, gloves are not required, but it is um, an added protective measure. If you're somebody who um, is concerned about the germs on their hands, you can always wear gloves. Um, these are not provided by the center, so if that's something that you want to do, then you'll have to bring that with you when you come to the DAC. Again, we do need to follow six feet social distancing guidelines. Um, unless it is a family member, um, your worker, um, but for all of us. So with that, um, I know we're all like to high five, handshake, hug sometimes. Um, we're just not able to do that right now. So when you come into a room and you go to greet somebody, it might be easier for you to remember if you just hold your hands behind your back or have them in your pockets. Um, that way you're not as tempted to reach out and, and touch um, one of your friends. So we just ask that you just try to remember. I know it's hard sometimes, when, especially when you haven't seen a friend in a long time and you want to reach out and give them a little high five or something, but for now, we have to follow these guidelines. You just keep your hands in your pocket, keep your hands in your back, behind your back. It just makes it a little, e little easier to remember. Um, if anybody in your house or somebody that you've been in close contact with has been sick, again, that go goes over the questions that Felicia asks at the front door. We just ask that you um, follow those regulations and just stay home. Uh, for a couple weeks if that is the case that, some, that you've been in contact with somebody that's sick um, just to make sure that you do not have the virus as well. Um, we ask that uh, you carry tissues. Um, we are going to have tissues throughout the center but in case you do cough or sneeze we ask that you use a tissue um, and dispose of it immediately and then wash your hands. Um, you want to wash your hands frequently. Like I said, when you come in, use the hand sanitizer. We also have hand sanitizer here in the, um, in the banquet hall. So there are hand washing stations. You know that there's a hand washing sink in the kitchen. There's 
the bathrooms on both ends of the, the center here. So you definitely want to wash your hands frequently and you want to wash them very good. You want to make sure that you get in between your fingers, on the backs of your hands, your wrists, um, and if you want, not sure how long to wash them for, just sing happy birthday song to yourself a couple times while you're washing your hands. Um, and when that you're done with the song, then you know that you've reached the time limit necessary to do a thorough cleaning. Um, I know that for some of us older people, we were always told if we'd have to cough or sneeze, we did do it into our hands. That is a no-no, you know, we want to use the crook of our elbow um, if and of course like I said use a tissue if you have one um, if you don't use your elbow um, you can cough into your shirt um, into your neckline holding your neckline over your face um, we just don't want to share any germs at this time so we want to keep everybody safe um, if you know anybody who um, has been sick, we're, we're not asking you to like treat them like the plague or, or like avoid them completely. You can reach out to friends and family who are sick just with a phone call or reaching out to them on Facebook or some other source of social media. Um, we don't want social distancing to become social isolation for yourself or for anybody else. We want you to still stay included and stay involved with your friends and family. Um, and if you're having difficulties coping with all of the, the stress, um, we ask you to please reach out to somebody, reach out to us. We're always here for anybody that needs um, anything and we try to meet those needs as best we can. Um, we just want you to know that we're here for you and that we're just trying to protect everyone, you, your families, our center and just create a, a good environment for all of us to enjoy our classes again. We just can't wait to uh, have our classes again and here in the center and see all of your faces again. Um, just one other thing. Um, if, if you find yourself really stressed out about all of this, maybe find a little craft or a little project to do at home. I know that the news is just flooded with, um, with information about the coronavirus and it can be very stressful. So again, we just want you to stay healthy and um, physically and also mentally and emotionally through all this as well. So um, if you have any questions, concerns, comments, please feel free to reach out to us. Uh, you know Jay Soul, Julie at disabilityactioncenter.com, um, me, Maggie at disabilityactioncenter.com, or Cheyenne, Cheyenne, disabilityactioncenter.com. All right, so we look forward to hearing from you. We can't wait to see you, and uh, take care, guys.